So we're going to be talking about the Windows 10 Creator Update and what it is doing to some computers. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and the Windows 10 Creator Edition crashes computers. And first of all, when it comes to Windows 10, a lot of people hate updating their computer. They find it especially annoying, and it's always at the worst time possible. And I could spend all day talking about how updates are important, the importance of setting accurate active hours, which you know, hint, hint, would prevent many of those annoying, annoying uh, forced restarts, just so that you know. And even how you can deal with updates in ways that don't require you hacking Windows. So when Microsoft says, please don't update your computer to Windows 10 creators update manually, it's probably a good idea to listen, especially if you're not an enthusiast, especially if you're the kind of person that has to end up bringing your computer to a computer shop and worrying about what the hell you just did to your computer. Why? Because currently the Windows 10 Creator Update only technically works on newer systems because of the fact that the drivers do in fact exist for newer systems. And a lot of the drivers are just not working with the Creator Updates. In some cases it has to do with Bluetooth antennas and some other configurations of the computers, which Microsoft has to basically chug through slowly. And as each of the computers problems are solved, they will make it available automatically to those people. What they essentially did was create a blockade where only people who have computers that are compatible with it can in fact install it. But why am I making an episode? They already know this and enthusiasts are going to do it anyway. And those that think they're enthusiasts are going to do it anyway, which might include a certain percentage of my audience to which I'm going to say, here are a few things to make your life just a little bit easier on yourself before you do the crazy thing and manually update your computer to the windows 10 creator update before being invited to do so. One, make backups of all your files. Chances are, if you try to install it, you can, in fact, crash your computer. It may be extremely hard to get your files back, if not impossible, depending how it crashes also. Uh, so it's generally a good idea to have backups anyway, but if you don't, make backups before. Secondly, make sure you have that Windows 10 install disk that is not the Windows 10 Creator Edition so that you can roll back to something that actually works on your computer. And of course, it is generally advised to have another means of getting Windows drivers and even troubleshooting hints and explanations on why various things work or don't work inside of Windows 10. So basically we say, if you have access to a second computer, that's amazing because that will at least make it possible for you to fix your computer or even get files that you forgot to get off your computer after the fact. So that's basically what it is back up your files, make sure you have access to a second computer, and make sure you have an older version of Windows 10 so you're not completely screwed out of your computer because you attempted to do something that should take an afternoon, but it took all freaking day and you still don't have a computer. Also, if you're wondering if I think you should be updating to the Windows 10 Creator update, I'll give you an idea. It's buggy as hell and you probably don't need it. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think would benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or everything else is at tqaweekly.com. And if you want to make the show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance. Thank you for watching and goodbye.